Hello everyone. So it's 12th of March, Tuesday, and we are back in daily cybersecurity news. So we got five news to cover today, starting with the first news with uh, WordPress shopping sites under attack. So there are a few WordPress sites which are under attack uh, from a hacker group abusing a vulnerability in a shopping cart plugin to plant backdoors and uh, take over vulnerable sites. Um, and these attacks are currently ongoing as per um, Defiant, the company behind WordFins, a firewall plugin for the WordPress sites. So these hackers are targeting WordPress sites that use the plugin, which is called Abandoned Cart Light for WooCommerce. And it's currently installed on 20,000 WordPress sites. These attacks are one of those rare cases where usually harmless cross-site scripting excesses vulnerability can actually lead to serious hacks. The plugin, as its name implies, allows site administrators to view abandoned shopping carts. Um, example what products users added in their carts before they suddenly left the site and uh, site owners use this plugin to infer a list of potentially popular products that a store might want to have on stock in the future for uh, better um, business these lists of abandoned carts are only accessible in wordpress site backend and usually only to admins or other uh, users with high privilege accounts Although, according to a report from Defiant, the security researcher Mikey Winstra, hackers are automating operations against WordPress WooCommerce-based stores to generate um, shopping carts that contain products with malformed names. And once they add the exploit code in one of the shopping cart fields, they leave the site and uh, an action that takes the exploit code gets stored in the shop's database. So whenever an admin accesses the shop's backend to give the list of abandoned cards, the hackers exploit code is executed as soon as a particular backend page is loaded on the user's screen. So there are two backdoors. The first backdoor takes the form of a new admin account that hackers create on the site. And uh, this new admin user is named WooUser and is registered with the WooUser 401A at the rate mailinator.com email address and there is a password as per the blog. The second backdoor is very clever and is a technique that's been rarely seen. Uh, the malicious code lists all the site's plugins and looks for the first one that's been disabled by the site admin. Hackers don't re-enable it, but instead they replace the content of its main file with a malicious script that works on a backdoor for future access. The plugin will remain deactivated, but since its files are still on disk and uh, reachable by web request, the hackers can send malicious instructions to this uh, second backdoor in case site owners remove the, the first backdoor which is with the username WooUser. Okay, so now moving on to the second news, which is um, Samsung Galaxy S10 facial recognition fooled by a video of the phone owner. So experts have proven once again that the facial recognition on the modern devices like Samsung and Apple remains hilariously insecure and can be bypassed using simple tricks such as showing either an image or a video in front of the device camera. Uh, there's the latest uh, issue in the Samsung Galaxy S10 um, which is Samsung's latest top tier phone and considered one of the world's most advanced smartphones but unfortunately uh, the Galaxy S10's facial recognition feature remains uh, weak um, as the one supported in its previous versions or in the devices of its competitors. Um, so there is a smartphone reviewer named Levi's uh, Helstinger and that's the picture on, on the video right now you can see um, he, he created a demo video uploaded on his YouTube channel last week on showing um, how he, he can use his uh, he can use the Galaxy S10 front camera um, with his video um, to 
enter the facial recognition system into unlocking the device so the, the video link I will put in the uh, description you can take a look at the video it's pretty it's pretty uh, uh, easy um, similarly an Italian journalist uh, also unlocked the unlocked the Galaxy S10 device using nothing but a photo which would be much easier to obtain by an attacker because um, a, a photo the attacker can just find from WhatsApp image, Instagram image or a Facebook image. So um, the issue with all these facial recognition systems implemented in current commercial products is that they don't perform any type of 3D depth scans of the tested face but they just uh, look at the position of eyes, nose or mouth to authorize a person and unlock a device. And that's the reason most of them can be bypassed by flashing photos or videos in front of their cameras. Okay, then moving on to the third news for the day, Yelp Conservatives MHEA app leaks users data. So there is a app um, similar to Yelp for uh, MAGA um, conservatives. MAGA is uh, the the American one for Trump. Like the um, its its uh, full name is or full form is Make America Great Again from Trump. So there's a new mobile app described as Yelp for conservatives, which is leaking user records and business reviews according to a French security researcher. The name of the app is six six three number six three R E D space SAFE, so 63 red safe uh, which features a motto of keeping conservatives safe so the, the motto is that, that the conservatives can go and, and eat in the restaurant without being troubled by others where they the, the, so they can wear the red cap or they can wear clothes or t-shirts uh, supporting trump and uh, people should not be uh, troubling them or the restaurant uh, staff should be protecting them and that's that's the app uh, specific for um, so the app describes itself as a service where users can read or write reviews of all local restaurants and businesses from a conservative perspective, helping insecure or secure that you are safe when you shop or eat. So according to the French uh, security researcher um, Robert Baptiste, uh, the 63rd safe app is leaking almost all of its data. Uh, researcher says that app source code contains the credentials of its author but also a list of API endpoints to which it connects to store or retrieve data. This backend API doesn't use any form of authentication. Um, that means that anyone can look at the app source code and get the API endpoints and then extract data from the app server with no challenge or restriction. Um, using this technique, the French researcher was able to determine that 4,000 plus users had registered credit profiles since the app's launch over the weekend. And uh, for each profile, the researcher was able to retrieve information such as username, email address, avatar, follow account, following account, profile creation or update dates, uh, a band status and something called a hot score. Okay, um, then moving on to the fourth news, which is F5 Networks acquires NGINX for uh, US dollar 670 million. So if you have not heard of NGINX, it's a, it's a big company and I'm going to just quickly cover it, cover it. So NGINX is a web server which, also, which, which can also be used as a reverse proxy, load balancer, uh, mail proxy or an HTTP cache. Uh, this software was first created by Igor Cisse, Cisse, if I'm correctly uh, pronouncing, and uh, first publicly released in 2004. Um, and then a company name, um, named with the same product name, was founded in 2011. Um, while NJINX is not a name that um, you, you may have heard of, uh, but the reality is that you use NGINX pretty much every day when you post a photo, watch streaming video, purchase goods online or log into um, your application at work. Okay, um, so more about NGINX. It powers over half of the busiest websites in the world and uh, the NGINX web server is the third most widely used servers in the world world behind uh, Microsoft and 
Apache but ahead of Google. So in short, the internet as we know today would not exist without NGINX. If you trust that. <laughs> okay, so more about F5 acqui acquisition, why F5 did this. So F5 and NGINX actually became rivals when the, when the NGINX started offering its paid premium service NGINX Plus to help developers build model apps for mega cloud services like uh, Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and other top cloud computing services. The FI president and CEO uh, said that FI's acquisition of NGINX strengthens our growth trajectory by accelerating our software and uh, multi cloud transformation. The acquisition will also benefit NGINX as FI Networks will also leverage its uh, global sales force, channel infrastructure and partner ecosystem to scale NGINX selling to the enterprise. Um, FI Networks makes it clear that the NGINX brand will remain as well as well its headquarters in San Francisco after the acquisition closes and that uh, the NGINX CEO um, and the founder will continue to lead NGINX. Okay, that's a good news that they are not going to try to kill the company. Okay, and then moving on to the last news for today. Uh, Windows 10 can now automatically uninstall buggy updates. So Microsoft has a new answer to automatically downloading um, Windows 10 updates that aren't compatible with the device they are installed on. So Windows 10 can now remove problematic updates without requiring user interaction. So this feature aims to address uh, updates with more severe, severe incompatibility issues, um, specifically the ones that prevent a Windows 10 PC from uh, starting up after the reboot. Um, so if a Windows 10 machine experiences a startup failure after installing certain updates which have problem, the device will display the notification uh, which will say, we removed some recently installed updates to recover your device from a startup failure. Um, so this action is, a, uh, is, a, is one of the last resorts that will only be taken when all other automatic recovery attempts have failed to work. Um, the types of updates that it may automatically remove if it triggers a startup failure include uh, device drivers, hotfixes, updated system files, service packs, and uh, new Windows features. Microsoft uh, will also block problematic updates from installing for three days in the event Windows detects that an update has caused a startup failure. And uh, Microsoft believes that within 30 days they will be able to um, fix that uh, update or patch and it will be automatically uh, installed back. Okay, so that completes our today's uh, news. We'll see you everyone tomorrow. Okay, thank you.